All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Chinese Stealth Suit mod, which is being released by user Anoctium. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is yet another of the strange omissions Bethesda decided to make for Fallout 4. That, of course, being the Chinese Stealth Suit, which Bethesda themselves invented for Fallout 3 in the Operation Anchorage DLC. And then, of course, it was also subsequently used in Fallout New Vegas. And so when this game released, I expected to see this armor as it basically became the quintessential suit of armor for stealth builds. But no, they decided to take it out of the game for some strange reason, which we'll probably never know. But thanks to the amazing modding community, we have it back in all of its glory. And I gotta say, it, in a really, really well-made glory. If we do have a look at this suit, it is beautifully made. In fact, probably one of the best detailed suits of armor I've seen in quite some time. It's got just an amazing helmet. It's got all the cool little tubings and rivets and latches and what appear to be strange little buttons on the waist and of course on the back there more tubing, some armor plating on the arm and back and even the cool little red communist star there. All sorts of lovely things and of course thankfully it looks good on either a female or male body type in the game so no matter what gender you chose for your character, it will look just fine and will become, if you modify it right, quite frankly, probably one of the best suits of armor in the game, if not the best, depending on your criteria. And thankfully, pretty easy to get a hold of. If we just go to the map here real quick and head down here, you will actually find it in the Yangtze. It's very easy to find. It's just on top of one of the consoles in the lower deck right after you go into the entrance. So very, very simple to find. Once you have it in your inventory, it of course will be over in apparel and you'll notice it's only a single piece, which counts as the head, but it also takes up the sort of full body costume slot. So if, say, for instance, we turn on my Assault Marine helmet and my Marine wetsuit, and then hit the Chinese Stealth Suit, both of those go off. But one thing you probably should have noticed already is that um, all the other armor slots aren't lit up. And that's a wonderful thing, because that means you can actually put chest, leg, and arm arm pieces of armor onto your body as well. Now, it may not look very stealthy anymore with my Assault Marine armor, but you know what? It gives you more protection. One of the reasons why I think that this can become one of the greatest suits of armor in the game, because, well, you can augment it with your other augmented pieces of armor, and that is a very, very valuable thing. But even on its own, it can become very powerful and give you a lot of protection with the right modifications, which of course are over in the armor workbench. But before we do, I need to point out one thing real quick. Now, if you've used in Fallout 3 in New Vegas the stealth suit, you'll remember that when you crouch, you go invisible just like you do with the stealth boy. And you'll notice, well, that's not actually happening to us here. And that's actually, I think, a good thing. Like I said, this can become a very, very powerful suit of armor, but you have to modify the ever-living crap out of it to do so. And that includes adding a stealth field to it. So in my opinion, it kind of balances out the insanity that this thing can become by the fact you have to build a lot of things for it. So in, in my mind, it's a good balancing act. So if we do go over here to the armor workbench and open up the stealth suit, you'll see the first modification slot is that stealth generator and you'll see three different options in here, and what each of these options are are just increasingly good stealth fields. The Electron Charge Pack, it'll help you with stealth, but it's not that great. It'll basically give you the, you know, stealth boy effect, but it won't really help you too much in your actual stealth. Whereas the Fusion Twin Micro Reactor, <laughs> oh man, it really, really helps with your stealth. And if we turn that thing on, and uh, if you do use it preferably at night or in the shadows, because, well, that's stealth, 
you will really be able to hide from a lot of people. With this twin fusion reactor stealth field turned on at, uh, I'd say probably more or less dawn, I went into a gunner encampment and slaughtered all of them, and they didn't find me once. It was pretty impressive. Now, you may also have noticed when we did go to Crouch, we did get that sort of slight blinding light effect as the technology turns on. And, uh, yeah, just a cool little effect. I do enjoy it because, well, it feels like it is activating, which is quite fun. And then when we stand up, the stealth field is gone. Now, as for other modifications, the next we have is visor modifications. Quite fun in here. The recon sensor, which is just like the recon scope. You point at a thing, you mark it, you follow it. Good times. My favorite, though, is the targeting HUD. While you're crouched, it will highlight living targets. But that's not entirely correct, because it will also highlight robots, too. And, well, they're technically not living. So it highlights basically any and every NPC. So let's actually just turn that on. What the heck? The next is speed augmentations, and these are pretty fun. Basically, it makes you run a lot more quickly when you do sprint. So you do have to be holding down shift or whatever you have your key binding to, and you'll go fast. Now, just like with the uh, stealth fields, it has three options here, which are currently grayed out because I am missing uh, buff out at the moment. And these are increasingly fast modifications. So the chem military grade injector will speed you up a little bit, whereas the muscular synthetic enhancements will speed you up a lot. Now, the last one we have here is different. It does not increase your speed. Rather, what it does is, as you can see here in the description, it stores the static electricity caused by when you're running, and you can then release it at an enemy target. It's actually a pretty cool modification. I do quite enjoy it because it's it's used as a stun. You'll hit someone with it and they'll fly back a little ways and they'll be on the ground for a few seconds. So you can either use that time to run away or, you know, take them out. Either or, you know, whatever you feel like doing. And it's a pretty cool enhancement. Though uh, the speed ones are also all really, really fun. You can go very fast with the uh, muscular synthetic enhancement. It's pretty cool. Now the next one is jump augmentations. Same deal here. The first three here will do varying levels of jumping. Charge boots will basically allow you to jump on top of like these shrubs in the background, whereas the frictionless heels, which we're going to put on, will actually allow you to basically jump up an entire story of a building. Very, very fun to do. And if you do actually use it with the speed augments as well, you're basically like a freaking anime character. You're running really fast, jumping from building to building. It's pretty awesome. Now, the final thing here... Ah, uh, I really don't find much use in it. The gravitational force expulsion is an item rather than jumping is used when falling, specifically when you land. What it'll do is once you've landed from a great height, uh, basically the height that you do the three point landing, so which takes probably about two stories to do, once you land the three point landing, it will basically launch out a gravitational field that knocks people back around you, which might sound useful. And to any of you who do like jumping off of buildings, that'll probably become a useful tool. For me, though, I just don't find myself using it. I don't find it very interesting, but that's just me. If you do enjoy jumping off of two to three story buildings, landing in the middle of a crowd and knocking them all down, then have at it, my friend. That is the one for you. Now, the next thing we have is materials. Now, these will slightly change the look of the armor, but more importantly, it'll change the damage resistances. So it basically adds, you know, more to help protect you, which is quite good. And so we'll uh, go with the Hui Gui one there. And the, oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one, is, of course, the best one, giving you some pretty good additional stats. Now, the next is the armor add-ons, which is one thing... I need to make note of here. I am scrolling down, you'll have to believe me, and we have no other thing below armor add-ons. But if we make an armor add-on, say for instance, Battlemaster, we now also have 
armor augmentations. So a good thing to note, if you do add on an armor add-on, either Battlemaster or Wastelander, what these two are going to do is give you again more damage resistance, but also change the look of your armor. Battlemaster, for instance, is going to make you look kind of like a bomb squad person. You're going to have these big bulky things on your armor there, uh, which is kind of cool looking actually. And then we'll also give you an augmentation, which are quite cool. Now the first three again are different levels of armor protection as you can see it's just adding damage resistance that's it so the ceramic scales will add a little bit of protection the electro laconic points will add a whole lot of protection and then finally we have the electromagnetic repulsor field now this is interesting if you played like Diablo or something like that. It's kind of like the aura of thorns. If anyone hits you, there's a chance that their attack will be redirected back at them as like a little shock of lightning. It's not perfect. It's not 100%, but it can happen. And it, it's actually pretty useful. I've found myself using it, or well, at least seeing it used when I get swarmed by, say, ghouls. Because they're hitting you a lot. They're all around you, so more of them are going to get shocked. But if you're just on a one-on-one -on -one duel fight with someone out in the streets with guns, it's probably not going to happen. But still, as you can see over here, it does still add some damage resistance. Not quite as much as these, well, at least on the electrical front there, as you can see. But it still does up your damage resistances, so it's it's still very, very useful. So let's actually gar grab this and see if we can get it to work. Like I said, it's not 100%. I don't even know what the percentage is, but it's, it's pretty fun when it does work. And now let's actually leave out of here, and you can see our newly changed armor. We've got the bigger, bulkier stuff here. I actually really like the uh, small slit in the helmet for the extra protection there with the cool star. You got some magazine holders. Very very, very cool, and just some more bulky pieces of armor around you for extra protection. Very fun. Now, of course, let's also, well, let's find some people, which, hey, we can find some people if we take the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We jumped all the way onto this roof. And again, imagine if you uh, combine this with one of the speed augmentations to make you run faster. Uh, you basically, like I said, are like... Oh, hello. Fall discharge. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> All right, so that was because I took damage and it kind of went out. Uh, that is another effect of the uh, armor modification for the Battlemaster stuff. Because, again, I took damage. It didn't know exactly who to attack with the damage, so it just kind of goes out in an aura. Now, if we do crouch, there we go. We get the red auras on Codsworth there, because he is an NPC, I guess. We got it on Dogmeat, we got it on him, who I'm forgetting his name suddenly. Oh my god, why am I forgetting your name? What's going on? Sturges, oh yes, there we are, you. <laughs> and yeah, you have just the fun little auras you can see people more, which is always quite nice. Now, uh, besides that, I guess the last it's thing, you actually did down. just see the um, armor modification shocking people, which was quite cool. But let's actually get it to work when people are attacking me. All right, I'm actually gonna have to shoot people here. Um, oh boy, yeah, I got my deliverer, don't I? Yes, there we go. It's daylight, so me trying to stealth kill people, frankly, would be a stupid idea because, well, it's just not gonna work. Ooh, actually, before we get everyone mad at us, I do need to show you the pushback thing, the stun that we replaced the speed augmentation with. So you'll notice when I'm crouched, we now have a new option next to the scavenger, which is jump two. If I stand up, we don't have that option. But when crouched, we can hit R or whatever you have that key bound to. And we basically charge them, launch them away. And you'll notice they'll lie on the ground for a little bit until they have to get up. Oh God, where'd she actually land up? Oh, there she is in the bushes. Lovely. So that is what that actually does and that's that whole static electricity storing up from your movement rather than having an actual speed augment which is quite useful so let's actually get everyone attacking me and hopefully get them to uh you know come on oh well we killed her and people aren't pissed at me yet ah there we go now they're pissed all right there we are you just saw that arc lightning go out from those people shooting me 
And that's what that part of the armor does. Again, it's adding additional damage resistance, though also I have God Mode on at the moment. But yeah, it is also shocking Codsworth quite nicely, though he's actually not taking a whole lot of damage from it, interestingly enough. I wonder if it's because I'm on God Mode and I'm not taking damage. Hmm. Interesting. Let's actually turn off God Mode real quick. And see what happens. Yes, he is actually taking damage now from it. So, it, yeah, it looks like it takes a portion of the damage they deal and redirects it back at them. I'm going to put God Mode back on before I die. There we are. Lovely. And, yeah, that's the Chinese stealth suit. Now that, of course, we pissed everyone off, we could run away and try and jump on top of these buildings for safety, which is a possibility for us. And, you know, try and go stealth when they've lost sight of us. Though, of course, it's daytime, so stealth really isn't the best to use in the middle of the sunlight. But, yes, you know what? There we go. We're cautions. They're having a hard time finding us now. Excellent. That is stealth, and specifically the Chinese stealth suit. If you'd like to give this one a go, which I definitely say to give it a try, you can check the link in the description as always. And yeah, definitely go have fun with it. Like I said, try the speed modifications plus the uh, jumping modifications and you will have loads of fun just jumping from building to building. And of course you have the other fun armor modifications like this one that's damaging these folks. Actually, let's stand, like, right in the middle of them, see how many of them get shocked. <laughs> I like it. Take that, Settler and Marcy. Yeah, it's good times. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, you do come back for the next when we'll be looking at what hopefully is yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now let's see if we can actually cross this river in a single leap. Huzzah! Almost. Later, folks.